In this short overview video, you will see how to use the original Excitec toolkit that was created in 2009 to add coordinates to our piling layout and also automatically number the piles. To begin, select the add-ins ribbon and select create parameters. The first step is to create a shared parameter file. We have the option of creating this in a different location, but I'm going to create this temporary shared parameter file in my user area. Go ahead and select OK. In the Create Parameters dialog box, we have the option of selecting the various different categories that we want these parameters to reside in. In this case here, we're going to select Structural Foundations. Go ahead and select OK. Next, we configure the user options. In the Coordinate Scheduled User Options dialog, ensure that you've selected Structural Foundations. If the piling layout changes or the location of the project changes via the project base point or the survey point, then we might want to be prompted when printing, when saving and so on. So the checkboxes allow us to be prompted when things will need to be updated. You'd also notice here that I'm going to show the coordinates to three decimal places and here I've overridden the units for meters. But of course you could leave those on projects units or perhaps millimeters. Go ahead and select OK. If we now tab select one of the piles, you'll now notice that the shared parameters have been added to each element. So I'm now going to change the view to the piling layout and I'm now ready to create the coordinate schedule itself. So I can select a coordinate schedule and here you can see that 72 elements have been updated. If I now select one of the piles, you'll now notice that we have our project X, Y and Z location as well as our survey point location. The next step may be to number the piles. The renumber elements was an addition to our toolkit back in 2012. Let's select renumber elements. So here I'm going to select structural foundations. I only want to number the piles, not the pile caps. Here I can configure my tag. So I'm going to prefix this with P. We'll have a zero padding of two, so there, that will give me P01, P02, and so on. And then we can drag select the elements. So I'm going to select these vertically. And of course, you'll now notice that I have all of those families selected in here. If I wanted to filter particular families, I could use this area over here to filter things perhaps by their type name, by the level, or perhaps by comments. I'm now going to load my tag and also create tags. This option would automatically assign marks to each pile, but if I wanted to be selective about these, I could manually pick the objects in the correct sequence. So I'll now go ahead and select renumber, and now this is our new number that's going to be assigned to each pile. And then I can click OK. So you'll now notice that all the tags have been applied. I'm going to select the tags and I'm just going to use the nudge tool just to nudge these into a slightly better location. And of course I could change the scale. So maybe one to 50. And we'll nudge those tags. So there's the numbering completed. The final stage is to create the schedule. To do this, I can select the view ribbon Schedules, Schedules Quantities. Here I can select Structural Foundations. I'll rename this to Piling Schedule and select OK. In the Fields tab on the Schedule Properties dialog, I can now add in my Excitec Survey X, Y and Z. I can also add the type of family in and also the mark. I can then arrange these however I want. Then I'll select sorting and grouping and here I'll sort by the mark. I can then go ahead and select OK and here's my piling schedule. Of course we're also seeing the pile caps in here as well so we can filter those. So if we go to the filter option and here we'll filter this by mark and we'll say begins with P. So that will just get the piles. 
our schedule is now complete. The final step may be just to rename the column headers. So here, this would be Easting, Northing, and Level. And of course, you could also put M for meters after these if required. Okay, our pining schedule is now complete.